Welcome to another video in this series on advanced orchestration techniques. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on different orchestral textures by introducing the accompanimental textures. We'll discuss why these specific textures are so important to modern day orchestration. Before diving into each one and learning specific tips, tricks, and strategies for using them to make your own arrangements sound more expressive and emotional. So with that, Let's get started. All right, so last week we introduced the ideas of orchestral textures. Texture is just another word for the number and types of different layers in your music. The idea of an accompanimental texture is just a broad term used to describe any type of texture that focuses on a model of melody plus accompaniment plus bass line. Essentially, these are the textures that you use when you have an important theme in your music that you want to present to the audience but with something a little more complex than just a simple linear texture. The accompanimental textures are, by far, the most common and useful textures available in Western music, and they make up the vast majority of all film music and songs. Of these textures, the most important and useful one is something called the homophonic texture. The homophonic texture consists of melody plus chordal accompaniment plus bass line and its greatest strength comes from its familiarity. This is by far the most common texture in modern Western music, so it tends to feel intuitive and familiar to most audiences. This helps increase the likeliness that your melody will stick out and be memorable. However, just because it's super common doesn't mean that it's cliche. The beautiful thing about this texture is that there are just so many different types of chordal accompaniment that you can work with. For example, you can use simple sustained chords, which are exactly what they sound like. This actually tends to be the default approach and can work well in most situations, especially when you want the benefit of having a chord progression without having it compete too much with your melody. You can also use rhythmic chords, which add a rhythmic element to your harmonic accompaniment and can be used to contribute incredible energy and momentum to your music. You can make it even more interesting by using different rhythmic ideas for your chords and bass line, respectively. You can even use arpeggiated chords which use simple arpeggios to create more movement and personality in your harmonies. This can be done with a single line or doubled up to create a more chordal type sound. Now, if you're feeling particularly creative or adventurous, you can even try combining two or more of these strategies together to create something new. The sheer variety of different forms, colors, and personalities that you can create with your chordal accompaniment is what helps make this texture so uniquely versatile and reliable. To get the most out of the homophonic texture, there are four helpful tips that you can keep in mind. The first is to give each layer its own distinct register or octave so they don't overlap. This is particularly important when first sketching out your ideas. It helps make sure that your music sounds clear and well-organized. Next, keep in mind that you don't need to use full chords all the time. Sometimes just focusing on a few essential tones that don't appear prominently in the melody or bass line can be more than enough. The third tip is a reminder that your bass lines don't always have to consist of simple sustained pitches. You can treat your bass line as an opportunity for additive accentuation, or you can even write a more complex and interesting line if desired. Finally, the simpler and less rhythmically active that your melody is, the further it should be distanced from your accompanimental material in order to maintain focus. Rhythmically active melodies can be closer in pitch to the accompaniment without worrying about being overpowered. However, despite the overwhelming utility of the homophonic texture, it's not the only accompanimental texture that you need to know. The other one is something called the polythematic texture, 
While not as common as the homophonic texture, the polythematic texture works incredibly well when you want a more lush and complex accompanimental style. It consists of any combination of melody plus melodic accompaniment plus bass line. This is quite possibly the most incredibly lush and rich texture that you can use without having to sacrifice keeping a primary theme or melody in your foreground. You can use it by starting with a simple melody, bass line, and chord progression. Then you can use your sketch to write a contrapuntal melody in between your melody and bass line that uses mostly chordal tones. If you would like an additional voice, you can double your contrapuntal melody using a chordal texture style approach to help thicken up your texture. The secret to what makes this texture so incredibly rich is your balance of contrasting material across each layer. In this spirit, there are just a few tips that you'll want to keep in mind. The first is that each layer needs a unique motivic idea. Your use of rhythm and pitch should help separate your melody, your melodic accompaniment, and your bass line into their own unique ideas and layers. In the same vein, every layer needs to have a distinct timbre or tone color. Aside from this, each layer should have its own distinct contour and shape, meaning that whenever possible, if your melody is moving up, your counter melody should be moving down or not moving at all. Finally, similarly to the homophonic texture, each layer should not overlap in pitch during your sketching process. This will help keep your arrangement sounding clear and effective. And with that, we have reached the end of another video. I hope you found it helpful. I want to take a quick moment to thank my wonderful patrons who make videos like this one possible. I also want to thank each and every one of you who show your support through the many kind emails, comments, and messages that I receive. It means more to me than you know. If you would like to show your support, there are links in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.